Hello, beautiful. Today we have a little game. It's called Rate Your Hair Routine. So basically what happens is I'm very, very, very critical in these videos. I see what you're doing wrong, what you're doing right, and every time you do something that is wrong in your hair care routine or something you could have done better, you will lose a point. So you go from 10 points to nine points and it just keeps going down and down and down. And then at the end of the game, whoever has the highest score wins. So let's rank some curly hair routines. This video is by Vanessa Lynn Beauty. So I just had taken out my braids a couple days ago. I had them in for six weeks. Whoa, it's time for a wash day, huh? She had braids in, so understandable why her hair looks very wild right now. And normally I keep them in for like only a week because my hair is so fine, so they tend to slide out. But this time they stood in a little bit longer, but they were really itchy. As long as you use like really good products, you're pretty much fine. But my hair is color treated, so I do have to do a little bit more. We're getting into it. Is she gonna lose a point? Some people lose points like right away. So we're gonna see if this is that type of video. All I did was go like this and lightly 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 detangle and then where it snags is where I'll like pull it a little bit your fingers have natural oil to help guide it take it pull it apart this is great thumbs up we are actually doing great basically what she's saying is that before she washes her hair she's actually dividing the hair and getting those really big knots out before she actually washes it helps make sure that you're not pulling out your hair when you're done shampooing and conditioning and you're adding more knots it's better to get some knots out before you actually condition I just don't because I just don't feel like it's necessary. Before I used to freak out when I used to have like hair falling out, but it's because I mean, I haven't brushed it or washed it in three weeks. She hasn't washed it in three weeks. So we're about to see probably a lot of hair come out of her head. Um, So I'm using the patterned hydration line. I was running out of conditioner. So I ended up using the very last of it and then having to go in with my We Dad Intense hydrating mask right after. This is me washing my hair after three weeks of leaving my braids in. So it was really dirty. I'm pretty sure I did conditioner first to detangle it a little bit. And then I went in with my shampoo. Ooh, thumbs up. So that is amazing. She actually went in with conditioner first to detangle and then she's shampooing. You can totally do that if you have very tangly curly hair. If your ends are like all clumped together and really matted, please go in with conditioner first and get those tangles out because what happens is if you put the shampoo on first and you're going like this on your scalp, you're going to tangle up your hair even more and you're going to end up ripping so much hair out. When you're done with the shampoo and conditioning process, you're going to have to go in with that brush and really yank out those knots and it's not gonna be cute. So great technique. We haven't lost a point yet. I think this is the longest somebody's ever gone without losing a point, honestly. Like usually it's pretty quick, but we shall see. Shampoo is really for your scalp so that you can get rid of all of that buildup and dandruff and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna use this scrubber. Shh. The point of this video is for me to critique. I'm not seeing anything yet. She's also using a scrubber tool. They look like this. It is great because it kind of like gets at your scalp without tangling everything around it. So if you have long, very tangly hair, such a great tool to have. I use it all the time in my hair as well. I just like the feeling of it. It's way better than using your fingers and it gets that dirt off the scalp, which she is going to need because three weeks without shampooing, it's good to clean that scalp. That way you don't have too much oil buildup or dead skin buildup and your hair can sprout through. Through. Sometimes if you let your hair go too long in between shampoos, it can actually affect the hair growth. Okay. Okay, I always have to say in these videos, I am being very difficult. This is fine, but I'm gonna take a point off. We're going down to a nine, and that is because I just don't feel like that was enough conditioner. You have such long hair with a lot of tangles. You wanna get that conditioner on those ends. You wanna get a lot of it. I mean, you don't need like clumps of it, but like two big pumps or two big squirts. You know, you don't need to cover your entire hand with it, but just a little bit more than that. I think she said she was running out of product though, so that might be the reason. I do love that she's focusing the conditioner just on her ends. She's starting to to detangle. Oh, I'm taking another point off. We are now at an eight. This is gonna be a controversial one, and I know. We all have different techniques. I'm just telling you my own technique here. I don't recommend brushing your hair when it's wet. That is because it is at its most fragile state when it's wet. Your hair stretches by like 50% or more when it's wet. So brushing it and aggressively brushing the knots out of your hair while it's wet, while it has conditioner even in your hair, it's not going to be effective because your hair is just stretching as you try to brush it out and those knots are just stretching out as well. I'd rather just dry the hair with a blow dryer or naturally air dry it for a little bit so it's like 50% dry at least before brushing it. That way you can actually get those knots out and you don't have to pull too hard on the hair. You're also gonna get less breakage that way. So that is an eight for you. It's a lot of hair, Vanessa. Ah. Uh... 
Listen. I don't usually do deep conditioning treatments or any hair masks, but I was running out of conditioner, so it was just killing two birds with one stone that I used this intense hydrating mask. This was the second time that I used it by Wee Dad, but the first time that I was actually paying attention to how my hair actually was and if it was moisturized, and I feel like it was very moisturizing indeed. I'm taking another point off. We're at a seven. She says she doesn't use any deep conditioning hair masks. Um, In the beginning of the video, she said that, and she said that's because she... I don't know. Basically, she just doesn't. She doesn't feel like she needs it. Which, okay. A couple things, though. Why are we focusing the deep conditioner on the root? I think it's because she has a lot of tangles up there. What I would recommend doing is putting this deep conditioner all over your hair, getting it in there, and waiting like five, ten minutes with it on. That will really help soften the hair. And then once you rinse it out, that is usually when the tangles are released, when the hair is softened up. So I don't love when I see you guys like put conditioner on and then try to comb it through. It doesn't work that well. I I promise. Also, we're going down to a six. six on the board. I would love to see you use a bond builder and not every single time you wash your hair, but once every couple washes. But she should definitely be using one since her hair is processed and curly. I'm really hoping that all of this Bruh. hair is just dead hair that was just trapped in my hair from not being able to brush it for three weeks. That's a lot of hair. It's a lot of hair. It feels like it's not a normal amount. After I rinsed out the hydrating, moisturizing, intense mask that I used, I went in with my leave-in conditioner, and then I used the Inner Sense Volumizing Lotion in my hair. This gives me some of the definition that I get when I end up teasing my hair and fluff it out. We aren't towel drying or anything yet. We are just putting the product in the extremely wet hair. I'm taking a point off. I'm sorry. I I understand putting product on wet hair. I get why you do it. The product is just not going to absorb well if your hair is sopping wet. It needs to get in the hair fiber, but if it's already filled with water, it's not gonna be able to get in there. It's just gonna drip right out. So you're not really gonna see a lot of the effects you would have seen if you just towel dried real quick. As for the products, good enough. A deep conditioner, a conditioning cream, and a volumizing liquid substance. And I don't section my hair because I'm very lazy. I actually hate doing my hair. I don't like how wet my hands get. I'm glad she's using a microfibre towel. And then I run my fingers through it and then I scrunch it with my microfiber towel. Then you see me applying more water to my hair because like I said before, or if I didn't say it, the more water you have on your hair, the less product that you use. That is true. The more water on your hair, the less product you use, but it's not actually like a good thing because you know the product's just probably not gonna work as well <laughs> okay y'all so this is the next day this is how we look at no manipulation or nothing just a lot of dancing around and fluffing oh holy sh like so y'all know my hair is color treated and stuff like that my curls are not super defined but i prefer volume wow she has gorgeous hair. I love the color. I'm sending you some stuff. First of all, I want to send you wave tech. I feel like your hair would just do better with a foam than a cream because you like the volume. And it still feels slightly frizzy. I'm going to send you some color, obviously, because that's gorgeous. And some BDSM balm because it's my literal favorite thing ever for curly hair to just finish it off and get rid of that frizz without weighing your hair down. But overall, you did a good job. You know, obviously, I'm nitpicking. I'm going in on you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> your hair looks amazing. You do a lot of things right, but we can always improve. I can improve in a lot of things and so can everybody else. So Vanessa's final score is a five. So the next person has to beat a five. Can they do it? We shall see. Our next contestant on whose hair routine is the best is... India Batson. Let's see what she has to offer us. She's doing something called the bowl method, so I'm intrigued. The very first thing you're gonna need for the bowl method, surprise, surprise, is a bowl, ladies and gentlemen. I am intrigued, but I'm feeling like this is going to decrease her, her points because um, a bowl, I'm open to new things, but a bowl, it seems like we're doing things that are unnecessary. But hey, what do I know? We're jumping in with the Olaplex number three, and it is going to rebuild the bonds in your hair that have been broken down. This is not a protein treatment. However, it does have similar results for me to a protein treatment. Okay, I think this is great that she's using a bond builder. Awesome job with that. She said she had just gotten it colored, so it is great to rebuild those bonds a bit and bring that health back. I love the shampoo. It does have an oil-based, and it is very 
nourishing to the scalp. Should I take a point off? Should I not take a point off? Mm, no, I'm actually not going to because I actually do like the way she's shampooing. She is being very gentle. She is getting that scalp cleaned, but she is not going like this and aggressively putting little tiny abrasions on her scalp with her fingernails. Like we don't want to do that. It could cause dry scalp and all sorts of nasty things. She's using a beautiful amount of conditioner and she is putting on her scalp. I'm going to take a point off. Ooh, ooh, he took a point off. This is my game and I get to play how I want to play. Because her hair is heavy, I don't, I feel like that conditioner is just going to weigh down her curls and it's just not going to be optimal. Let's avoid the scalp a little bit. Jumping in with the Twist Feeling Thirsty Curl Refresh and Conditioning Spray. So I'm going to use this as a conditioning spray. This is the only product that I'm going to be using here today that does have silicones in it. So if you do follow the Curly Girl Method 100%, this is not the product for you. She's putting in a conditioning spray, which is always great for a drier, curlier hair. So I, I'm into that. Also, she mentioned something about silicones. I don't get the whole silicone thing. Silicones are fine, okay? I don't even want to get into it, right? <laughs> like why it's fine, but there are ways to use silicones that is totally fine. It can, of course, cause buildup, but you will know when you have a buildup of silicone in your hair. And it takes a whole lot for that to happen. But without silicones, guys, you're never gonna get that like glassy, shiny, 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 beautiful hair. We're going to place our bowl underneath where the water is going to land, essentially. And we're going to squish the products in where it all recycles into a bowl and then you use those products to then continue styling your hair. I hate it. It's the same story as the last girl. Guys, you gotta get a little bit of that water out so that the, the product can absorb in your hair. So so she's gonna dip her hair basically in water with the product in, basically rinse off the product, take it out again, squeeze the product back in her hair, then rinse it again. That's a, a point off. That is a point off. Also, I'm taking another point off. Oh my God, what are you gonna do? You may not win the grand prize of nothing. Your, your points are going down. I would rather see her style her hair, use like a Denman brush or a wide tooth comb at least, get some of those curls in there and then put the product in. In, rather than like have her hair sopping wet, not styled, then put the product in, then try to style it. It seems like backwards. And with this method, I did not take any of the water out of my hair. I'm applying this to soaking wet hair, which is gonna leave me with really like perfect frizz free wavy curls. And I am gonna add just a little bit of water to the tippy top. It doesn't feel quite as squishy as the bottom. <laughs> I'm gonna use a spray water bottle. They're super awesome at just refreshing specific parts of your hair. I love that water bottle, I have the same one, they're great. It is so important with curly hair to keep it damp while you're in that styling phase. That way the frizz doesn't happen. So I like this, I like that she's dampening her hair in between, but not wet. I don't like the wet. For our styler today, we're gonna be jumping in with the Ready Set Balance Soft Hold Curl Defining Jelly. It kind of is like a cream and gel in one. Okay, so now she's putting a jelly cream thing in her hair. I'm gonna take a point off, I'm gonna do it. By the way, you're doing great. I you're watching, listen, I'm just being critical. Don't worry. I just don't really love gels for her type of hair. Unless she's going for that weighed down, like flatter curl wave, which is fine. I'm just gonna take a point off because I feel like it. And like, I'd rather see her use a foam or something that's just gonna make her hair a little bouncier and just a product that's like lighter than a gel. And I'm kind of going to do like a bit of a rope method where I kind of split it and like scrunch it in here. I like that she's doing a good scrunch. We always love a good scrunch. Thumbs up for that. Yeah. she's really going in there. It's beautiful. Before jumping in with the gel, I'm going to finish our bowl method and take our water and dunk my hair in this. And then we're going to squish to condition this water. I hate it. Dunking it in, squishing it out. My hair is beginning to feel like seaweed and I'm not mad at it. I just don't get it. So we're only dipping like this much of the hair in the water and then just kind of taking the product out and then squishing it back in. It's just not computing. So I am next going to wet plop. All I'm going to do is flip my hair over and I'm gonna put it in kind of like what you would use for a shower cap and just let it plop up there so it can't soak up any excess waters. It's not perfect. I've got a couple pieces hanging out. Ah, oh, yes. I love it. I think it gives it the most beautiful curls and waves because you're laying all that hair on the top of your head, making sure that gravity is not weighing anything down. You're gonna get nice volume and your curl pattern is gonna be super tight. This is gonna look beautiful, but it does require like a lot of time to dry. So I'm just gonna leave my hair wet flopped for about 15 minutes. It shouldn't look too incredibly different because it won't be any drier. And then I'm going to diffuse. 
close. I thought she was just gonna wet plop till it's dry. I'm lost. I'm taking a poof. This is me again being very critical. But one thing I gotta say about diffusing, if your hair is prone to frizz, don't diffuse upwards, diffuse from the side. You can pull your hair up and diffuse it to get that volume in there. But going up like this pushes all that frizz up and people often end up with like major frizz at the end of diffusing because of that reason. So I try to always diffuse from the side and from the top. By the way, girl, I will be sending you product as well. Oh! before even wow. fluffing it, you guys. This is the best my hair has ever looked, you guys. I'm shook. So this is after she fluffed it up and I am blown away. I didn't even think her hair was gonna be that curly. Like from the beginning, her hair was kind of wavy and now it's like full on curls. Beautiful. Ooh, that was a showdown, baby. I was on the edge of my feet and I'm the judge. So clearly they both tied. These are our two winners for today because they both did the same amount of things wrong and right. But beautiful job with your curly hair routine and um, you know, there's always things that everybody can work on. Make sure you guys check me out everywhere else. Here are my social media handles, there they are. You can also check out X Mondo Hair and X Mondo Color linked below for you. That is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.